hello guys welcome to my channel and i will show you how to use adobe photoshop in an easy way and in a simple way so let's begin and our top our topic for today is drop shadows so as you can see in your screen so we have a drop shadow here so this is a realistic type of effect of how to have a drop shadows in your points so this is you can apply in this all of your project so let's do this guys this is a realistic one so i will show you how to do this in adobe cc 2019 the latest version of adobe photoshop so let's go we are go to our photoshop cc 2019 so first let's click file and click new document or control plus n in a keyboard shortcut okay and then go to the photo and select the default size photoshop and then select create okay and then once you have a document so let's go back go to the adjustment layer and then solid color click solid color and then just just do uh, a background whatever a background you want to do okay so let's go up on a pink okay and then go to your text or in a keyboard shortcut letter t okay and then let's type some okay it's it let's see so loading me zoom so you okay so whatever you want so let's say, let's say we need a uh, drop shadows okay so just type any fonts what you want okay so we have drop shadow here okay and then zoom it so that we will see the effects okay and then click the sh drop shadow layer and then go to the layer style fx icon that you can see this and then go to your drop shadow click drop shadow and then in drop shadow so you can see we have a uh, the structure so we have a blend mode multiply the opacity the opacity of the drop shadow okay so that is the opacity of our drop shadow and the angle so the angle in have a different way and the distance so how what is the distance so how you like the distance of your of drop shadow and the spread so that's the spread and the size so the size of the drop shadow also you can see and now so and even you have in the arrow you can go and easily drag your drop shadow anywhere in the screen you want anywhere in the in the fonts you want so like that so did you see that guys so, okay so okay so let's we have a realistic drop shadow okay in the opacity let's go back in 18 18 okay so the opacity must be 18 percent and the angle must be let's say 69 percent and the distance will be let's say 34 and the size will have a 38 size so that you can see the, the depth shadow are are changing so okay so it will be at ease for now so glue uh, use global light so this global light is a light source but you can use this but i i recommend that you can check this the uh, use global light so okay and then that it's that's the first drop shadow and in the plus sign that you are seeing in your screen so just click it so you have another drop shadow and click this drop shadow and you can easily change the 
the opacity of the second dab shadow so if you want uh, if you go back to the first shadow okay so it the opacity is 18 and the dab shadow in the second is 58 so that's that is different okay so let's say the opacity will be 15 okay and then the angle we must be 60 and the distance we want is 74 pixel and the size must be 65 pixel okay so you see okay so just drop another one guys plus again okay so we have a third drop shadow so click the third the third one and okay so you can now uh, change again the opacity so the opacity in the third must be 13 percent and the angle must be 52 okay so did you see the our drop shadow is becoming more realistic guys right? so more have a uh, more blend and the distance must be 35 and the size will be 49 okay so that's it we have a good drop shadow now so another one so just click in the port drop shadow so we are now this tutorial is how to use how to create multiple drop shadow in a one in a one in a in a single uh, point style so that's that's right so did you see okay so go to the port drop shadow so i'll select this the port one the port the last and you can drag the last one okay so did you see okay so the opacity in our port one must be 18 18 percent and the angle must be 52 again and the distance maybe 14 pixels and the size is maybe 32 pixels so that's it so did you see so did you see what okay 32 did you see that so we have a realistic so and then click okay so that's it we have a drop shadows guys a realistic drop shadows in adobe photoshop cc 2019 so did you see that in our layer panels guys so did you see this so our drop shadows effects one two three and four we have four drop shadows so you can click this so you can hide the drop shadows uh, okay so did you see that in adobe photoshop cc 2019 you can have a multiple drop shadows at once so this is not available on cs6 and cs5 in the older version of uh, adobe photoshop so this is available on adobe cc 2019 so I don't know if this is available also in Adobe CC 2017 but you can take a look at this so that's all guys I hope you you have a simple I, I hope you you learn in a simple way of my teaching how to to use Adobe Photoshop guys so I'm very sorry with my English so <laughs> this is the first uh, the second time that i am i am teaching you in english version so i hope that my english will be will be improved in someday so guys thank you very much i hope i help you a lot with this video on how to to have uh, multiple drop shadows at once in adobe photoshop cc 2019 guys so before anything else so please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for another video in english version on how to have a uh, multiple drop shadows in adobe photoshop cc 2019 guys 
so that's it have a nice day guys see you next time